Hello, I'm Brian McKeon, partner at the JMB FLP. Today we'll be reviewing the following CNBC shows. Fast Money, Mad Money, and Options Action for the week of April 6 to April 10, 2009. Now again, I'd like to remind you, this is merely a review of the following shows. Fast Money, Mad Money, and Options Action, and only looks at the upside plays in these shows, and not the underlying options used in these calls. And ETFs may be used in place of indexes and commodities. Now what we merely do is get an average analyst ranking through these free websites. So first we look at Fast Money's very own Karen Feinerman. Now of all of her upside plays for the week, you can see that she has BIIB and TBT coming in as moderate buys. Next we move over to Zachary Carabell. Of all of his upside plays for the week, none of them make it into the buy camp. As for Jeff Mackey, he has FDO come in as a moderate buy. And also for special notes, since it's been coming up the last couple weeks, JJC is an ETF I use for the copper, copper index. So uh, you might want to look at that um, to play copper. But be warned, there's no analyst ranking for that particular ETF at this time. So, next we move over to John Najarian. Of all of his upside plays, he has BIIB as well. And that's uh, coming in as a moderate buy. Next we move over to Timothy Seymour. He has gold, PBR, and MICC coming in as moderate buys. Also, you can see all of his upside plays for the week that rate in the hold camp. And all of his upside plays that rate in the sell camp. Also, you have Joe Terranova. All of his upside plays for the week, none of them rate in the buy camp, but he does have that JJC Copper ETF, which I mentioned earlier. Now, there were also some special guest appearances from Dennis DeVitt and Dennis Gartman. Now, of all of their plays, you can see that none of them make it into the buy camp this week. And there was also Charles Grum and Brad Hintz. And you can see none of their stuff made it in the buy camp this week. Now, there was also a special guest appearance from Carl Icahn. Now, you can see he had BIIB and Yahoo. Now, you can see which ones made it in the particular buy camp. Now, there were also Ryan Jacobs and Bill Lanier. You can see none of their stuff made it in the buy camp. Now, as for JP Mark and uh, Gene Munster, you can see they got no buys. <laughs> either. But as for Whitney Tilson and uh, Greg Torsoni, you see that they picked American Express and the S&P 500 to move higher, but they don't rate a buy by that particular analyst websites that we use. Now as for Mad Money with Jim Cramer, now all of his upside plays for the week, he has Abbott, uh, GIS, Teba, COH, and SPIL coming in as moderate buys for the week. Also, here's a look at all his upside plays for the week that rate in the hold camp. And all of Kramer's upside plays that he picked for the week that rate in the sell camp. As for the show Options Action, this week all, they had no particular stock picks and it was only a show on how to trade options. So, in review, the moderate buys are here for you. They have Gold, Abbott, GIST, PBR, Teva, BIIB, uh, COH, FDO, MICC, SPIL, and TBT. And there, you can also see that there are no strong buy recommendations for this week. So again, I'd like to remind you that all analyst recommendations are as of April 10th, 2009. And I am not a licensed investment advisor, and the investments I am showing you today are what I'm doing for my friends and family's accounts. And I am not affiliated with CNBC or any of its affiliates and or any of the websites used to determine these rankings. And I currently own shares of General Electric, Morgan Stanley, Prudential, and the S&P 500. So again, this is Brian McKeon from the JMB FLP saying thank you and see you next time.